Okay, we've stabilized. The arm is twitching like a mother right now. <sighs> okay. Thoughts have been coming together in my head. Uh, as you know, I have a housing situation that needs to be addressed. Uh, I also have a friend from the neighborhood who has um, a housing issue of her own that needs to be addressed. Her situation is completely the opposite from mine. Um, she needs more income. She's a senior. Uh, she inherited the house from her mom and is, is let's just say, life difficulties. Um, she's, she's a movie in her own right. You know what I mean? There's like shades of everyone here. This is what I'm saying. It's... It's, it's a blend of everybody. So she has a shed that can be turned into a small home. It's pinked it. Now, I know you're familiar with uh, the band. Uh, Bobby Robertson, Elon Helm. I can't remember anybody else's name right at the moment, but you know who I'm talking about. They went to Dylan's place in the Catskills and they recorded songs from Big Pink. I've wanted to do a reno show for a while because, I mean, I'm a jack-of-all-trades. I don't do concrete and I don't do shingles. Pretty much everything in between I can do. <laughs> I've forgotten more about building houses than most people will ever know. So, here's the pitch. Um, her bill is about $150,000 because of back taxes from when she wasn't herself, basically. Let's put it that way. That's from when she wasn't herself. Now, we can probably get that down because a large portion of that is interest. You know, we leave that to the legal department. <clears throat> this is a common situation here in our city. And it's not going to be a mayoral candidate issue or anything like that. But everybody's going to want to hear about it, right? So she has this, you know, it's basically a, a garage. It was a garage. It had two big, beautiful old doors and so on, and now it's on its last legs. The, the timbers and, you know, the structure itself is really good. Just replace the doors and so on, and do a little this and a little this and a little of that. Um, I have a friend who's a lead hand on one of the high-rises with the Local 27. So I also have so many cottage builder friends up in Muskoka that we can pull a really, really, really talented crew together of really funny people. <laughs> Oddballs rejects, <laughs> you know. <laughs> funny thing is, they all qualify for insurance. <laughs> or, you know, I don't know how we're going to have to work that. But again, that's the legal department and, you know, our budget is going to be Two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and I get a place to live. She has her legal issues dealt with, and now she can die in the house because that's what she wants to do. She's lived there most of her life. It's what she knows. It's what she has left. Everything else is taken away. She still has her grandkids. <laughs> and apparently there's a really good video floating around there of her indomitable spirit <laughs> she got dumped in pool that's a totally different story so yeah I mean give me a call <laughs> we'll talk